This is the 8th grade TCAP practice test for grade 8. This is question number 31. Question number 31 says, which equation best represents the, graphed, uh, the line graphed on the grid below? Looking at my answer choices, I've got y by itself, which means I have slope intercept form, which looks like this. Shockingly, it's called slope-intercept because it has both a slope and an intercept. If you scout the problem, it becomes much easier. The first thing I'm going to do is look for the intercept. The intercept is where the line uh, comes in contact with the y-axis, because it's the y-intercept, right here. So I'm looking for something that has plus 3 in it, because it crosses at plus 3. If it crossed down below somewhere, like if it crossed here, I would have minus 3, but in this case it's plus. So uh, a doesn't have anything without an x, so that's out. Uh, B says minus 3, so that's not it. So it's either C or D. Now I'm going to look at the slope, and how I'm going to do that is pick two points on the line that cross right on the corners of the little boxes shown. Here's one, and if I look, here's another one. Then I'm going to uh, think about whether it goes up or down. This, in this case, going from left to right, it goes up, so it is a positive slope. That's a good thing. Now, for my slope, uh, I always do whether it goes up or down. If it's up, it's positive, and if it's down, it's negative. Over how much it goes to the right, at least when it's pre-drawn. Uh, so, starting from this point here, I count up one, two, three. So my fraction would be three, and then I go, uh, sorry, should have brought that line back in. I kind of got off pattern. Three, and then I go over one. Kind of makes it look like a thumbs up sign. Three over one. Three over one reduced is just three. So my slope is three x. So my answer is y equals three x plus three, which is just d. So make sure you find your intercept first, and from there, uh, pick two points that cross right on the corners of those little grid uh, marks, those grid squares. It's probably in the bottom left, and then the top right is where they'll cross, unless it's negative, and then it'll be the opposite. Um, and then just determine how far you go up or down, and then how much you go to the right.